Hey guys, welcome back. This is a tutorial for ADSR and MassiveSynth.com. If you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel and you want to stay up to date with all of our releases, you can do that at YouTube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. So that was a quick demo of the hip hop brass sound we've making today in Massive. And I played it with some short stabby sounds. You can actually hold it out. So it's a pretty cool versatile sound and I think Massive can do some kind of good emulations of uh, brass sounds, but they're still kind of synthy sounding obviously. So I have a new instance of Massive pulled up ready to go. Alright, first thing you're going to do in Oscillator 1 is I'm going to select the Square Saw 2 Wave. I'm going to keep the wavetable position where it is, the intensity and amp where it is. I'm just going to detune this down to negative 12 because we want a good amount of spread with the uh, oscillators because in Oscillator 2 and 3 I'm going to be using some... Um, some wavetables that kind of complement the foundation of the sound, which is a square saw wave. So activate oscillator 2, and then we're going to grab the uh, digi cook 1 waveform. And if I solo this, it's, it's going to be a weird sound. So then you're going to turn your wavetable position in and your intensity down almost all the way. And it's kind of that weird key sound. I'm going to pitch this up to 12 to spread it out from this first oscillator. It should sound like that. Really thin and hollow, but it adds some good high end to the sound. So now I'm going to activate oscillator 3. And in oscillator, in oscillator 3, I'm going to select the sine square wave. I'm going to keep the uh, wave tilt position up all the way. I'm going to crank that intensity all the way down. I'm going to keep the amp where it is. I'm going to pitch this up to... Uh, so I'm just going to detune this down to about negative 8 to give it some spread. All right, so now activate your modulation oscillator, and we're going to apply a little bit of ring modulation to uh, our uh, oscillator one, but I'm going to detune this down to negative 24, so it's a lower end sounding ring mod, and I'm just going to give it maybe about 15%. So if I turn it up too much, it'll start to sound like an organ, but if I give it just a little boost, it gives a little bit of a low end to the sound. All right, and now in the noise oscillator, turn the color down, you can keep it on white, and just give it a little bump but we don't want that really bright white noise sound. So moving on, let's go to the filter section. And I'm going to turn this slider up to serial, and I'm going to select low pass 4 for filter 1, and I'm going to select band, sorry, band pass for filter 2. And in the cutoff, I'm going to turn it above halfway for filter 1, and I'm going to turn the resonance down to about, I'd say about 15%. And in filter 2, I'm going to crank up that cutoff, and I'm going to turn the bandwidth down just a little bit under halfway, and I'm going to turn the resonance down, and then drag this slider up to give filter 2 some sound. And now I'm going to have this slider for mix 1 and 2 leaning more towards the bandpass side of things. So maybe just a little bit under halfway. All right, so let's go on to our voicing tab here. And in the voicing tab, we're going to give this four voices of unisono. I'm going to apply some unison, unison spread, so I'm going to drag this up. I'm going to double click to zero that out and go up to positive 0.18, so it's more of a subtle effect. And then I'm going to select chord instead of centered. And then I'm going to this pan position, and I'm going to drag it in closer to mono so it's not as crazy with phase differences, just to spread out the sound a little. All right, so now let's go to our oscillator tab, and I'm going to zero out the vibrato, and I'm going to turn the rate down, and I'm going to turn the depth up. The reason why I wanted to introduce some vibrato in this sound is if you think of an actual human playing like a brass sound, like a trumpet or trombone, the fluctuation in their forcefulness of breath will kind of add like a vibrato type effect, so I thought by turning down the rate, I could simulate a little bit of that. All right, and now I'm going to go to the effects, and I'm going to select the delay but make sure it's not the delay sync, it's the actual delay. I'm going to turn the dry wet down to about 15, 20%. Turn the damp up, and then the, the left right have about halfway, and maybe the time right up just a little bit past halfway. All right, and it's giving a, little get, a good little tail on the release of it. And then I'm going to select reverb for the FX2. And because for hip hop, the brass sounds are pretty anthemic sounding and big. So I'm going to turn the dry wet down. I'm going to turn the size up a little the density to the right, and turn the color in so they're kind of facing each other. Alright, so let me activate the EQ and then we'll pretty much have the effects set up. And the EQ is actually really important in this sound because it's kind of boosting some specific frequency. So I'm going to turn the low shelf up. 
I'm going to turn the boost down maybe to about 35%, and the frequency down so it's kind of facing where the boost knob is, and I'm going to turn the high shelf down a little. So you can hear the difference that that makes in the sound. All right, so let's go to our first envelope, and we're going to use this envelope to modulate the cutoff of filter one. So turn the attack up a little, turn the level down to about halfway, turn the decay all the way in, and this level knob all the way up. Now on your morph knob, your morph tab, you're going to select the expo times two, which is, so it should say nine, and then give it one loop point, and then turn your your level almost all the way up for that, and then turn the morph make sure the morph is down and turn the s slope almost all the way down so you should basically get that this first little dot should be in, in the word linear or just right after the word linear so by turning in that s loop you can make it move in so i'm going to grab that macro and modulate outwards on the cutoff of filter one and you see that's adding some brightness to the sound and now i'm going to go on to envelope 2 and in envelope 2 it's got a kind of a weird shape I'm going to turn the attack up a little to the level down and the decay down to about maybe 25 30 percent and turn the level almost all the way down and then I'm going to give it a little bit of release all right and then I'm going to check the box linear so then it's kind of more of a sharp decay see that and it will help make it more of a triangular shape. Whereas on this, see how that would kind of bring in that attack, so it would make it more of a quick sound. So the linear tab is kind of a cool tab to, to mess around with on, cer on certain shapes, I think. Um, and then I'm going to select Trig 0 Reset for it. I want it to reset at 0 when I'm using it. And then I do need to go back and actually make sure I've applied that to envelope 1. So in envelope 2 now that we got that triangle shape what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of these macro controls down here I'm going to select this it should say T lowercase r capital R which is release and I'm going to drag this up in the level and I'm going to drag it up I'm going to drag it down in the decay alright and now I'm going to use this to, to modulate the pitch a little bit so I'm going to detune um, I'm going to detune oscillator 1 with it, and then I'm going to use that to pitch up to, to 5 um, semitones here in uh, oscillator 3. All right, now let's go on to envelope 4, which is the last envelope we need to change the shaping because it's tied to our amp mod by default and massive. So turn down your attack. Turn, keep the level turned up all the way. Turn the decay down. A good amount and then let's jack up this release to just under halfway so this line right here if you get the decay right should be near the trig zero reset and make sure you select I'm gonna select trig zero reset again and I'm gonna leave linear off for this so just don't make sure that that's unchecked for envelope 4 and now I'm gonna give it a little bit more of a release for that kind of classic hip-hop brass sound I'm going to turn this frequency down on the EQ. Then I'm going to unsolo this and play it with the drums. And that is pretty much the sound, guys. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't checked out MassiveSynth.com, head on over there. Head on over there. Tons of great things, Massive. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.